When it comes to meal prepping my breakfasts, I like to stick to variations of baked oatmeal because of how fast and easy it is to make. Today I'm going to show you how I make one of my favorite kinds, the apple pie baked oatmeal. Take four medium apples or about 600 grams and cut them into slices. I usually stick to either a Fuji or a Honeycrisp because I prefer to have sweeter apples, but any kind of crisp apple will work. I don't recommend using some of the softer varieties like a Macintosh or a Red Delicious because when they bake in the oven they lose their texture and get mushy. Peeling the apples is an optional step. In the past, I never used to do this, but I just bought this new vegetable peeler that is actually sharp and easy to use, so it's not too difficult for me to just skin them real quick. Before I bought this, I had a shitty peeler that was a nightmare to use, and I never peeled the apples when I made this dish, and it always still turned out just fine, so take that for what you will. You're going to cut all of your apples into thin slices. I shoot for somewhere between 1 8 of an inch and 1 quarter of an inch in thickness. Then you're going to heat a large skillet over medium heat and melt in 1 tablespoon or 14 grams of butter. Add in your sliced apples and stir that around to mix. To the pan with the apples, add in 1 4 of a cup or 48 grams of brown sugar, as well as 1 tablespoon or 8 grams of cinnamon. Stir everything together to combine and allow the sugars to melt and form a caramel-like sauce. It can help to pour in a bit of water here to assist the apples in cooking down and to help the sauce come together. You're going to cook these apples until they've been glazed with the sugary sauce and they've begun to soften to where they are flexible. This will probably take around 5 minutes. Again, adding some water will help this cook a little bit faster. While those apples are cooking, you can mix together 3 cups or 240 grams of rolled oats, 2 scoops or 60 grams of vanilla protein powder, and 1 teaspoon or 4 grams of baking powder. Now you can get by with using whatever kind of protein powder you want. I use vanilla whey. I'm often asked if you can omit the protein powder in these baked oatmeals, and the answer is yes, but they're used for sweetness and structure in this recipe, so you would have to replace with sugar and flour. In a smaller bowl, crack two eggs and add in one tablespoon or 14 grams of melted butter, as well as two cups or 480 grams of milk. The milk in this recipe is just used for liquid, so if you need to use a dairy-free option such as an almond or an oat milk, that should be just fine. Next, combine all of your ingredients together in the large bowl. So pour your milk and egg mixture into the oats, stir everything together to make sure it's well combined, and then you can take all of your cooked apples and mix them in as well. What I love most about these baked oatmeals is how easy they are to make and how much time it can save me in the mornings. This particular version takes a touch longer than the others because you have the added step of cooking the apples, but the entire preparation process is still only 15 minutes or less. Quick, ready-to-eat breakfast seems to be what most people are looking for in the morning. And let's be real, not many of us want to stand in front of the stove and prepare a meal before we go to work. Having something that you can grab out of the fridge and throw in the microwave to be ready in minutes means that you can sleep in longer and save you time. Once everything has been mixed together, take a 13 by 9 baking dish and spray it well with oil, making sure to get oil in all of the corners. Spread in your oatmeal mixture and then bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. The oatmeal bake is done when the center has set and is no longer soft to the touch. Around the 30 minute mark, you can start to keep a closer eye on your oven and pull the oatmeal bake out whenever it is ready. Pass a butter knife around the perimeter of the pan to release the bake from the sides of the dish. Allow the oatmeal bake to cool down to room temperature and then top it with 3 to 5 tablespoons or about 35 to 60 grams of vanilla Greek yogurt. Now I use vanilla Greek yogurt here in place of a regular frosting because it is more macro friendly and has less sugar. A real frosting would work great though if you wanted to use that as well. Place the yogurt into a Ziploc bag, cut a small slit in the corner, and pipe the yogurt over the top of the oatmeal. This oatmeal bake is going to make 6 servings so you can cut that into 6 even slices and place each slice into its own meal prep container. Not only are these baked oatmeals an awesome breakfast, but I also like to use them as a bedtime snack. I always prefer to cap off the night with something sweet and a little protein to help feed my growing muscles while I sleep, and these baked oatmeal recipes meet both of those needs. If you have followed me for long enough, you know that I'm a huge proponent of the work breakfast for those of us that work desk jobs. Eating on the clock was my favorite thing to do when I worked a corporate job. If that's not allowed where you work, don't get fired for some baked oatmeal though, that's not worth it. Each one of these dishes has about 361 calories and 18 grams of protein. I will include the full written recipe for how you make this apple pie baked oatmeal in the description of this video below, and I'll also include a link to where you can find it on my website. If you like the idea of these baked oatmeals and think that they can help you out in your mornings, go check out the other variations I have on the website. There's a carrot cake baked oatmeal, strawberries and cream baked oatmeal, peanut butter chocolate chip baked oatmeal, banana bread baked oatmeal. The possibilities are really endless. Once your servings of that baked oatmeal has cooled, you can throw on the lids and move it into your fridge. These will last in your fridge for up to six days and you reheat them in the microwave. Hopefully you find this helpful. That's all we got for today. See you next week.